Hi and welcome to ArtBee's video tutorials. I'm Milad and in this video you will learn how to update Jupiter when a new version is available. I'll show you how to update the theme in three ways, through Jupiter Control Panel, via FTP, and from WordPress Dashboard. Ok, before you proceed with the update, it's better to check the release notes page and also make sure that your server meets Jupyter's technical requirements. Also, deactivating your caching plugins temporarily and backing up your website in case anything goes wrong is recommended. So let's say we have Jupyter 594. From Jupyter version 5.1, we have added a new automatic update method that lets you update your theme in one click. To update the theme from WordPress dashboard, go to Jupyter, Control Panel, and click on theme updates. Note that this tab is only available if you have registered the theme. If for any reason you can't see this update notification, you can go to WordPress dashboard, updates, and click on check again, and then check back. Ok, so let's click on update and be patient until the update process is done, because in some servers this may take several minutes. And now that the update is successfully finished, we can go to WordPress dashboard, themes, and when we click on Jupiter, we can see that it's updated to 595, which at the time of recording this video is the latest version. So that's the simple way to update the theme. Now let's talk about some troubleshooting techniques in case you are not able to use the automatic update feature. First, if Jupiter is installed on a multi-site, make sure you have administrator privilege when updating. Also, you need to make sure that WP Content Uploads and WP Content Themes have write permission. And finally, check if your server meets Jupyter's minimum requirements. You can see minimum requirements from this article in our knowledge base and check your server status by going to Jupyter, Control Panel, System Status. Ok, for the second update method, you can consider updating your theme via FTP in case automatic update doesn't work. To do this, go to your ThemeForest account and download the whole package or installable WordPress file. I'm going to download the installable WordPress file and extract it. So now let's launch our FTP client and log into our web host. You can ask your hosting provider for the FTP credentials. And now that we're logged in, we can go to WP Content Themes. Here, to have a backup of the current theme, we can rename this Jupyter folder to something like Jupyter Backup. Now we need to drag this new extracted version of Jupyter to this area. And when the file transfer is completed, we can go back to WordPress Dashboard, Jupyter, Control Panel, and see that here we have the latest version of Jupyter. Now you can browse and explore your website, and if everything looks right, you can archive or delete this backup. And for the third method, you can update the theme directly from WordPress Dashboard. To do this, you need to go to WordPress Dashboard, Appearance, Themes, and temporarily activate one of the WordPress default themes. Then you can click on Jupyter and delete this old theme. Now we need to download the new version of the theme from ThemeForest, just like how we did in previous method. But this time we don't need to extract the zip file, because we're going to upload the zip file to WordPress. So let's go to WordPress Dashboard, Appearance, Themes, click on Add New, and then select the new Jupyter zip file and upload it. And now that the theme is successfully uploaded, we can activate it and enjoy the latest version of Jupyter. And by the way, if there's a child theme installed and activated on your website, there's no need to update it like the parent theme. Just know that you should check the release notes page to check for changes related to your code customizations. In that case, only an update to your custom code in the child theme is required. So that's it for updating the theme. Good luck and have fun with Jupyter.